Each NFL team nominated its two fastest players. Then our panel of football experts narrowed that list down to our eight competitors that are here today. The first round pairings were determined by a random drawing. Number one seed Daryl Green drew Mark Duper, and Herschel Walker will meet Vance Johnson. Rod Woodson drew Ricky Natiel, and number two seed Willie Gault faces Haywood Jeffries. $20,000 will be awarded to today's winner, along with the honor of being the NFL's fastest man. Now it's time for our first race between Daryl Green of the Redskins and Mark Duper of the Dolphins. So let's go to Wamad at the starting line. All right. All the talking, everything's gone. Now we got to get down and just do it. Daryl, how you feeling? I feel pretty good. Uh, the weather kind of settled, uh, settled a little bit. Uh, I am concerned about this guy next to me because he, he wasn't here the first two years. And uh, I, I know what he can do on the football field. I really, you know, I, I was at the track meet, matter of fact, when they won the NCAAs on the relay. But I haven't seen him in a while. He's older than I am. <laughs> He's been in the league one year longer, so All I right. got one thing going for me. All right, the classic confrontation, wide receiver against defensive back. Mark, how you feeling? You fit? Well, um, I feel uh, I feel real good about this race. And uh, I know Darryl can run, and uh, I know he can play football. And he say I'm older than him, but it's only one year, so uh, I don't think that's going to make a difference. <laughs> All right, there's two things you know about him, and the third thing we'll find out right now, and that is if Daryl can beat him in the 60. The rules of the event are simple. It's a single elimination tournament, do or die, and only the winner advances. Today's competitors are running on one of the finest grass tracks in the United States, so no one here can blame the track for slow times. The first two competitors are at the block for the start of today's first race, Daryl Green on the right. Mark Duper on the left. Official starter Tom Richards has the gun raised for the start. It's a fair start. Mark Duper first out of the blocks, but here comes Daryl Green with those long, smooth, powerful strides. He cruises to the first win here in this competition. And 6.15. Incredible time, Kimmy. Yeah, it's a good time for Green. Uh, Duper on the left got on the blocks fairly well, as you mentioned, the mod, but he seems to be a little bit out of shape, and this was really a breather for Daryl Green in the first heat. Those nice, smooth strides of Daryl Green really powers him home. Jimmy's got both of them. You know, Duke, this is a little bit embarrassing to me because I just saw how bad Daryl beat you, and I can't remember back to how badly you used to beat me when we played together. Well, you know, Daryl's a good sprinter, and, uh, I mean, you got to give him the best. Well, he's a he's a great sprinter, and uh, I felt that uh, he told me I've been practicing. I think he really <laughs> practiced a little bit better. But he, he had that psych job going real early, didn't he? He did. Good. I mean, he, he cruised Take through the race. Step from him. <laughs> <laughs> you haven't been running in about a year away from well, this event, but you look like you're in top four. Well, I, I ran the best I could. I ran the best I could. All right. Good luck the rest of the way. Congratulations, Ahmad. The track's just starting to heat up. Coming up, the first round continues as Herschel Walker faces the Broncos' Vance Johnson. Number four seed Rod Woodson takes on Ricky Natiel. And number two seed Willie Galt meets the Oilers' Haywood Jeffries. We're back at Boone Field in Palm Desert, California for the NFL's fastest man competition. Today's second match, our number three seed, Herschel Walker, against the Broncos' Vance Johnson. Amon? Vance, there is no question that you are one of the fastest men in the National Football League. You've been coming here for three straight years. This year, are you intent on being the fastest man in the NFL? I keep I keep losing to the winners, so, uh, you know, if, if I lose, I'm sure Herschel Walker is going to win the whole thing, but uh, I think it's going to be just a great challenge to go out here and participate again. And being in the top eight, it's an honor in itself. All right. Herschel, I know how those competitive juices flow in you. I know you're ready. You fit? Well, I hope so. I tell you, it's warm weather, and uh, like I said, this is a challenge. The Lord has put so many challenges in everyone's life. you got to take them head on, and I think I'm ready. I know one challenge I wouldn't like to have is to be a defensive back and have to tackle Herschel. You've got that right, Ahmad. We're ready for heat number two, and both of these athletes have a great deal of track experience. Of course, I probably could have tackled him had I wanted to, but that's another story altogether. Herschel Walker, always quick out of the blocks. Vance Johnson knows that, and we'll have to get a good start here in order to compete with Herschel. Yeah, Herschel, you're right about that. His compact size belies the fact that he has such a great start. A fair start. Herschel out of the blocks very quick. Vance Johnson right with him at 20 yards. At 30 yards, Herschel starting to pull away. Herschel Walker advances to our next round. 
And Van Johnson did quite well in this race. Coming out of the blocks, they were even for the first 20 yards or so. Johnson, as you mentioned, needed to get that very quick start. Watch the lean that Johnson has. Much further out in front than Herschel was. As a result, he gets the quicker start. Herschel's got to make up a great deal of time. Herschel Walker, about 30 yards out, starts to power. And at that point, he shows everybody here that he definitely has closing speed also. Jimmy? Seems like you had a bad start, Herschel. Uh, yes, I did. I came up, I thought it was going to be a slower gun. And tell you what, it wasn't bad. It wasn't bad at all. You happy with the time? Well, yes, I am, because uh, I won the race. That's what I wanted to do is try to get a win, and I got it. Vance, it's unusual that a, a running back this big could run that fast. I tell you, you know what? I can tell by listening to that power coming up behind me when I first got out of the blocks. It was going to be over with quick, and uh, he has a real strong finish. And uh, like I said down there, I think he'll win the whole thing. All right, good race. Uh, the Broncos' Ricky Natiel takes on number four seed Rod Woodson from the Pittsburgh Steelers in our next race. Ahmad's on the track with Ricky. All right, Ricky, within a year, you established two things in the National Football League. One, but you're one of the best receivers in the league, and two, now here, one of the fastest receivers. you feel any pressure? No doubt, there's some pressure, especially any times we run against some guys like that out here today. And as you can hear in my voice, you can tell there's pressure, so I'm just kind of anxious to get it on the way. <laughs> All right, man. All right, Rod. You guys could hook up at some time during the year, seeing that you're a defensive back and he's a uh, wide receiver, but you have a lot of experience coming out of these boxes. You must be pretty confident. No. <laughs> no? <laughs> no. I thought I would, but... uh. I'm watching the times, and uh, it just seemed like uh, coming off the blocks, I got no difference. <laughs> Herschel got a bad start, came back. <laughs> I'm nervous. All right, man, he might be nervous, but I guarantee you he'll run plenty fast. Okay, we're ready for heat number three. Rod Woodson, the only other defensive back in the competition, besides, of course, Daryl Green, was a four-time Big Ten hurdling champion in college, so we expect a good race from him. Rod, Rod Woodson is the man with the young legs here in this competition. And I think he has the experience edge here because of his world-class hurdling. He's come out of the blocks a few more times than Ricky Natiel. It's a fair start. Woodson has the lead right out of the blocks. And it looks like Woodson is going to go on and win this heat and advance to the next round of this competition. Woodson could be a factor here. Jimmy? Brad, it looked like all that uh, track experience helped. Well, I don't know. I'm looking at my time. It doesn't look too good. That's kind of slow, so uh, I don't know. 635, that he can run, can he? Oh, no doubt. I knew he was a great runner. Um, while he was holding out, he's over. See, he's running, so I knew I was up against a great guy. Okay, he just had the luck of the draw, I guess. Two rookies going at it. Congratulations. Good race. The final heat in round one features number two seed Willie Galt from the Chicago Bears versus the Oilers' Haywood Jeffries. I'm on. All right, Willie, this is your third year. And I know how much this means to you to try to win this competition. How are you feeling this year coming in? I feel good. I'm in good shape. I'm probably in better shape than I've been in the last two years. But uh, right here, it doesn't make a difference. You have to get out and run. And I talked about the stages of the race to start and the 30 yards. And my legs are longer, so I have to get out and really run. All right, I hope you get a good start. That's been your nemesis in the past, a bad start. <laughs> Along with me being a jinx. Every time I pick him, he loses. So this time I pick him to lose, he'll win. Wait a minute, I didn't mean to say that. Um, how are you feeling, Haywood? I'm feeling pretty good. Uh, now, Jerry Glanville, last year we had Ernest Gibbons out here, and Jerry Glanville said you had the wrong guy. This is the fastest guy on our team. Now you're here. Uh, that's, a, that's a great privilege to uphold. I hope I can do it. Uh, but, you know, every man's for himself, so I'm going to try to come out here and do the best I can. I can. All right. Good luck to both of you guys. Good luck. Willie Galt has advanced to the semifinals for the past two years, but he has never won this competition, something he'd dearly like to do. This is as serious as I've ever seen him here in the last couple of years that he's been here. I think he's intent on winning the crown of NFL's fastest man, but first he'll have to get by Haywood Jeffries. It's a fair start, and Willie Galt coming out low out of the blocks takes a lead in this race. Haywood Jeffries will have to come on strong. He does it. Willie Galt wins it and moves on to our next round. Jeffries has the same problem most big men have, long legs, trouble getting out of the blocks a while to get started. And Galt's quick start proved to be the margin of victory. Jimmy? Congratulations, a good race, 6.36. You happy with the time? Mm, it's okay, it's not great, but the win is the most important thing, so. You know what surprised me more? The 40-yard dash time was a 4.73. That's not really the fastest, is it, Hayward? Uh, no. You know, I just uh, didn't have enough time to really practice for it, but uh, 
I thought I did all right just to come out for the first time. How'd the rookie do? Well, he did great, but the 40 time is not reflective of the great 40 times because it's electric. So what you have to do is take off 2.4. But he did real good. He came out with me. I just accelerated through 30 yards more better than he did, but that was it. You got this down to a science. Good luck the rest of the way. So form is hell. All four seeds advance to the semifinals. When we come back, it'll be Daryl Green versus Herschel Walker and Willie Galt against Rod Woodson. We're back at the College of the Desert in Palm Desert, California for the semifinal matchups in today's NFL's fastest man competition. Daryl Green. Now, here's a guy that we talked about wearing the, the crown of NFL's fastest man proudly. Dale Green comes in this year, and the way he's running already, he may win it again. Yeah, he's out to prove it. He's got the uh, fastest time thus far. 6.15 is awfully quick. It's an interesting race, though, going against Herschel Walker. Remember, Herschel was the number one seed a year ago. He's got that great explosion, the great speed. He's the only running back in the competition, and you know what a competitor Daryl Green is. He does not want to lose to the only running back here. All right, let's talk about another defensive back, Rod Woodson. Now, he's the youngest legs in the competition, a world-class hurdler, and he looks awful strong. Yep. Willie Gall will have his hands full. Right, two world-class hurdlers, Willie Galt and Ron Woodson. When you look at this matchup, I guess you've got to give a slight edge to Willie Galt because of his experience, but nothing more because Woodson, as he showed in his first heat, has great explosion and speed. You want to pick any of them? Uh-uh. Okay, let's see. <laughs> 1987 champion Ron Brown is spectator today. Ron, the record holder in this event, a winning time of 6.95. Daryl, in the first race, it looked like you were very loose, cruised a little bit, and still ran 6.15. How are you feeling now in the semis? Well, I'm glad to be, you know, to have won the first race. And, you know, in this race, if anybody can win, you got to take it one step at a time. Uh, I'm glad we're not running 100, because I know Hurst was stronger in 100 than he has in the 60. All right. Hurst, you know, one of the good things about this kind of competition is that it gets on right away. I mean, right now, we're in the semifinals. You're going against a, a, a former winner, Dale Green. Yes, and that's an even bigger challenge. And, uh, you know, challenges are made so you can go out and give your very best. And uh, this is going to be a race. It's going to be quick. It's going to be fast. And, you know, I'm going to try to hang in there and try to pull it out. All right. It's 104 degrees out here in Palm Desert. It's getting ready to be a little bit hotter right here on this track. It sure is, Ahmad. And Daryl and Herschel, not the only anxious people on the field. Herschel's wife, Cindy, is nervously awaiting the start with uh, Daryl Green's wife, Jewel, and that's daughter, Jurel. And while we had a moment, Ahmad had a chance to speak with last year's champion, Ron Brown. All right, thanks, Jimmy. Ronnie, at a time like this, do you miss it a little bit? Oh, I miss it a lot. I miss the competition. You know, I was looking forward to being out here. Unfortunately, things didn't work out that way, but uh, I'm out here lending my support. It looks good. They're running well. Everybody looks good. How about uh, Daryl Green? Who, who, let me, don't let me put names in your mouth. <laughs> who would you pick at this time? You've seen the first couple of races. Who would you pick? Well, Daryl's going to be hard to beat today. Uh, he looks like a favorite. He has the fastest time going into the, to the next qualifying heats. But uh, I don't know. It's going to be tough. I mean, Galt looks good, too. Galt wants it this year, too. And so that's going to be interesting. It's really been itching at him for three years. He's come out here and wanted to win the thing. And one year, Daryl beats him. The next year, you beat him. I think this year might be his year. It might be his year. And it's really hard to say. But uh, if anybody could pull a double off, Daryl Green could pull it off. All yeah. right, man. Good luck to you. Congratulations on everything and good luck. Thank you very much. Okay, ready for our first semifinal. The number one seed, Daryl Green, is on the right. Number three, Herschel Walker on the left. The winner goes to the final. The loser sentenced to two more weeks of training camp. It's a fair start, and Herschel Walker is first out of the block. But here comes Daryl Green with that long, smooth, powerful stride. Daryl Green wins it. He's yet to be beaten here in this competition. One of the most anticipated races of the day. Herschel Walker gets out of the blocks very quickly. We mentioned the big man, but he can get out of the blocks. Daryl Green, however, at about 30 yards, begins to pull away. Herschel can't keep up. When you talk about power here, it's not only the big man, but watch Daryl Green as he powers through that finish line. Jimmy? Herschel, you seem to have a great start that time, but Daryl caught you from the back. Uh, yes, I did. I got off to a real good start. That was something that I, you know, I wanted to do. You know, the six is a race that you have to get a good start, and I knew... With a speaker like Daryl, I wanted to get a good start on it. Six twelve, you got to be happy with the time, Daryl. Yeah, I really appreciate that. I think I'm a track expert because I told him the star was dynamic, but I had him as a scouting report that he would start slow and finish strong. Worked the other way around. I'm just thankful to God that I advanced. All right, good luck in the final. Our second semifinal race pits the veteran Willie Gold against the upstart rookie Rod Woodson. Let's go to Oman. 
Willie, the competition is heated up. How are you feeling? Feel good. Feel good. I just have to get out and run and not worry about my technique or form and just run. Right. What, what about your start last time? It was a little bit better than last year. A little bit better, but um, it still wasn't as good as it could be. All right, you're going against a young man over here with fresh legs, also a world-class hurdler. How are you feeling, Rod? Nervous. nervous. Still nervous? Yeah, I should use some shoe or something. <laughs> <laughs> you were going against Willie Gaud. Are you a little bit in awe of this guy over here? Yeah, I've been watching since I've been in uh, college now. And uh, I've been admiring him because he's a world-class hurdler also. So uh, I'm nervous. All right, all right. Good luck to you. Have a good race. Should be a good one. Have you ever seen a more serious Willie Gault tonight? No, I haven't. And I think he's going to have to be more than serious. He's going to have to be fast here to get by Rod <laughs> Woodson. It, it would be embarrassing uh, from Willie Gault's standpoint to be beaten by a rookie in this kind of a competition. Well, you know, rookies can run too, and I think Willie realizes that. It's a fair start, and Rod Woodson is out very well. Willie Gault will have to go if he's going to catch him. He's not going to catch him. Rod Woodson wins it. He moves into the finals. A fine race by Rod Woodson. Woodson, despite being a very large, tall man, comes out of the blocks extremely well, as opposed to Haywood Jeffries, we noticed before. Watch him on the left, coming out very quickly. Willie Gault got a fairly good start. However, they're dead even at this point, and the strength of Woodson propels him in the end to get the win. Well, Jimmy, you know in a 60-yard race, one mistake, and it's all over with. And that's what happened to Willie Gault. He got a slow start coming out of the blocks, and all of a sudden, Rod Woodson gets a good start and powers home to the victory. Rod Woodson, a rookie here in this competition, moves to the finals. Willie, you came out of the blocks a little bit late again. Well, you know, I have to get all the credit to Rod. He won a great race. He came out of blocks technically sound. I just didn't come out today, but it's no problem. I'm so glad. Thank God for it. Uh, you got to be happy, Rod. The first year in this competition, and you're going against Willie Gold. Oh, definitely. You, you got to come out here. You got to run. I was scared to death. Uh, I'm just happy I'm in the finals. You got two DBs in the finals, so I uh, got to give us some credit now. I think we're a little bit faster than uh, people think we are. You were nervous coming in, but now you're talking some nonsense to a wide receiver. Well, I'm still nervous. Believe me, <laughs> I'm scared still. All right. Good luck in the final. Thank you. So our final matchup is set between Rod Woodson and Daryl Green. We'll be back with more from Palm Desert, California. For the past several days, our athletes and their families have been relaxing at our host hotel, the beautiful Desert Princess Resort. Now it's time for the finals of the Subaru NFL's Fastest Man at the College of the Desert. Jimmy, we started with eight. We're down to two. Now in the first heat of those semifinals, I don't think it was an upset with Daryl Green beating Herschel Walker. No, I don't think so either. Uh, Daryl Green, now he seems to be getting faster every time. 6-12 uh, with this race. And you've got to wonder, can he continue in this heat to get better and better? Going against Woodson, now there's a surprise of this matchup thus far, beating Willie Gault. An upset? Uh, yeah, that was an upset. It was. But you know, he's not only blowing some smoke during the race, but before him, too. He's not as nervous <laughs> as he tries to make out to be. Well, he'll have to get his nerves together and get his speed ready if he's going to beat Daryl Green. And as we enter this race, the finalists are fortunate to have their own cheering section. I'm sure Daryl's wife, Jewel, is hoping for a second win in this competition. Once again, you're in a position to become the fastest man in the NFL. In the last two races, you're getting faster and faster. How you feel going into this one? I really had some doubts in the beginning, but I thank God that he sustained me to get to this point. And then Rod, defensive back. I mean, I feel kind of proud about that, you know, because it's two defensive defensive backs beating these wide receivers. And uh, I, I want to be the first uh, guy to win this thing twice. You appear to be getting stronger. I mean, even with this heat and the conditions here, you be, you're getting stronger every race. Well, I do think that the, that me personally, this heat or some had something to do with our running today, but I am, I, I do feel like I did get stronger. But uh, it's going to be a good race right here, I think, too. All right, Rod has been nervous every single race and you've won every single race but now you're going against a man who's already won his title once how are you feeling now nervous more nervous than the last <laughs> time i've been off the soft and dry this time though so i don't, I don't think i'm sweating so. no it's just nervous but it's a good pleasure to be here against him uh two dbs uh beat a five receivers and a running back so uh we got to be happy and uh we'll give it our best we're all gonna right. see all right good luck to you guys we will find out who the fastest man in the National Football League is in a matter of seconds. 
Daryl Green once again in the finals, this time going up against a newcomer, Rod Woodson, who surprised many by beating Willie Galt in the semifinals. And all the pressure in this race is on Rod Woodson because Dale Green has won each and every race and gotten faster with each run. Set. It's a clean start, and Dale Green is out of the blocks like a shot. At 30 yards, he starts to accelerate, and it's that long, smooth, fluid stride that powers Daryl Green to victory. He is the Subaru NFL's fastest man. Daryl Green got a great start, never trailed from the very beginning. In fact, Ahmad, I think it was a little bit too good of a start. Almost a rolling start out of the blocks. There you see, he does move before the gun is up. It was not caught by the starter, and so it is a fair start, as you mentioned. But from the very beginning, Daryl Green out of the blocks, he did not trail the entire 60 yards. This start reminds me of Ben Johnson's start last year when he set the world record. Same sort of a rolling motion. Darrell, congratulations the second time the NFL's fastest man. Hey, man, it feels great. I thank God for it. Getting older, uh, missed it last year, won it again. I like to win it every year. Any more special this time than it was two years ago? Yeah, I think every time you win it, it's, it's, it's more special. I think that I've come a long way as a person and an individual, but God brought me all the way from Texas A&I University, two Super Bowls. You've also come a long way as far as the family's concerned. The last time we were together, this little girl wasn't here, was she? Sure wasn't, but she's here strong and 22 months old strong. Congratulations, Rod. No uh, problem for you either. A rookie coming here for the first time, the runner-up, $15,000 richer. you got to be happy. Definitely. I'm, I'm a young guy here. Uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to check his legs. I'll see what he got in his legs because uh, he moves a little too fast for a football player. <laughs> <laughs> I asked you this the last time you were here. What are you going to do with the $20,000? You said it was going to be for education. <laughs> now what are you going to do with the twenty? Well, we're hoping for a new baby soon. So, if that's the case, we'll just do a whole nother trust fund. We'll just keep this going, and next year, we'll just keep, keep it up. It'll be great. Daryl Green won the first competition two years ago. Last year, he was injured. The mystery comes back strong and wins it in a time of 6.10 seconds. Along with the title, he also picks up a nice check for $20,000. Rod Woodson picks up $15,000 for second. Once again, Daryl Green is the fastest man in the National Football League, but we had a good field here, and you know, this, this event is really starting to come on. Yeah, it really is, and more and more you go to NFL games every year, and whoever ran in the race is recognized, and especially the winner. This year, when Daryl Green goes and plays football every week, there'll be a wide receiver to say, how am I going to beat the NFL's fastest man? It's a psychological effect of winning this event. And guys all around the league want to get in this competition. I was in Chicago, and William the Refrigerator said he should have been <laughs> in it. <laughs> At 375, why not? All right, we've had fun. We hope you've enjoyed it. So from Palm Desert, California, I'm Ahmad Rashad, along with Jimmy Cephalo, saying so long.